dirty personnel around you. Watch yourself, my dad wouldn't allow such. Ladies and gentlemen, now I have your attention. I need to clear this place so the government will get up and come and do the shop. Thank you. This rubbish, Jolie. That's me now. The visiting governor's daughter. Of course, carrying the deputy governor's daughter is of no skitty threat. My instruction was that you clear the entire plaza to the later. Your Excellency, I strongly advise we avoid any diplomatic role with her state. Keep your unsolicited advice to yourself. Excellencies, you have to leave now. That's a big joke. I can't wait to show, and I'll leave at my own time. You can girl. I don't care who governor's daughter you are. This is my sister. Nobody shops with me here at the same time. You better pack yourself. You're full of yourself, aren't you? Ignore the ranting aunt, Nina. Hmm? She's just a scarecrow trying too hard to imitate life. But I just hear a rat quack. I guess that was not directed at me, Deputy Governor's daughter. Look at this little cockroach. Hmm? Who do you think you are? Because you suddenly find yourself in oversized shoes and will not befit your gutter status. You can see you die with any of my oversized shoe. I guess it really pinches so hard that you can't even fit yourself into your own undersized shoe. Chief, this is your father. What a stone mandate. If my father is a thief, then yours is a bigger one. I can't believe this. Oh, shut your big mouth. Johnny, throw them out. I dare you. Fiona, I dare you. It's an over, Johnny. Guys, there won't be any incident. Can you escort your excellencies back to the government shop lunch? I think it's time to get out of here, your excellencies. I'm not leaving. It's so uncool for you. Go say that that those guys didn't lay hands on me. I don't blame that slimy man. You want to target my mama, please just leave her. You obviously have this beef going on. <laughs> me, Karen Ogo Media, have beef with that uncultured, inconsequential known life throughout. God forbid. This year's election is going to be the bigger than most explosive, no doubt. It's going to be massive because never in the history of elections have we had so many big and powerful names all jostling to become partners. 
So who are you guys supporting this time around? Uh, I told you before, I am not a politician yet. You're always organizing a million match of youths across the state campuses every year for your favorite politician. Abby, it's called hustling. So, okay, these big men have so much money to throw around, so what do I do? I just massage their public ego while making some cool cash for myself. Yet you are always broke. Uh -huh. ah. money alone. Don't you eat the money with me? <laughs> year in, year out, you're neck deep into your student in your politics. How much you don't make? Oh, please, let's put that aside. Oh, we should put that aside. Oh, this is not stuff I said. <laughs> I'm sure having a university career couldn't have ended so soon. Yeah, well, Chad, I decided to defer the remaining part of my session for your campaign, but you will need the support for the forthcoming governorship election. Come on, my dear. You need not uh, put your academics on the line simply because your dad wants to become a governor. I'm already holding an important position. Well, Dad, deputy governor is not the same as His Excellency the governor. I know that. That's exactly why I'm stepping up. And I'm very capable of, you know, doing that just without you disrupting your academic program. It's only half a session, Dad. I can't allow that. You did not even discuss first with me before coming down. Well, it's too late. My investor has already approved the deferment. So, don't worry, I'll pick up once, once it's over. Ah, Karen. Because you might need to sacrifice your political career, Dad. You've always made sacrifices for your father's political advancement. Richmond, I'm aware every time you frequent my campus, but you never stop by to ask after me. Yeah, I'm always in a hurry, as you can see. Richmond, my heart's melt for you. I'm crazy about you. Uh, that's the problem, Fiona, that's the problem. See, you don't fall within the league of girls I date these days. I grew in the realm of executive babes, you know? In case you haven't heard, I am dating a deputy governor's daughter.
You know, like, I've been waiting for you like ages. You're not going to give me attention? So you're even pulling tabs on my program? Hmm? No, no, really, just that, you know. I... So you think because you told me you're an accountant in some stupid company, I'll begin to jump? Do you know who my father is? Yes, I know who your father is. But that's not the point, okay? You asked me what I do and I told you. So how am I so sure you're not chasing me around because of who my father is? Look, I'm here because I love you so much and I want to marry you. <laughs> I don't know what you mean about that. <laughs> you guys always like to spread your luck so far to where your hands cannot reach. Richmond. I am way, way, way too much for you, okay? Now, the only reason why I condescend to even speaking to you is because at least you're sensible enough not to have bad breath. Mm. I don't have time for that. Richmond, don't you ever come near me again. Leave me alone. I have better things to do with that. Be Alicia. Um, yes, I am. I'm doing Pedro, Honorable Philip Pedro's daughter. Oh my God! Oh, the governorship candidate of the opposition party. Oh, please to meet you. Please to meet you. Hey. Yeah. Well, what's up? I'm here to recruit into my dad's campaign organization, the youth wing part of it. Okay. Actually, we're looking at Obama's type of internet and networking campaign structure. You know. Well, yes. My dad personally commended you. He said you're the hottest youth mobilizer he knows on campus. Oh, please, please. I'm not a skipper, but coming from your dad, I'll take it and slash it. My dad doesn't slash it. All right, so where do I get to meet your dad? Look at that to me, you're joining us. Oh, great. Gosh, my dad was so hot. So please, I'll come in for a drink. I'll just one more, and don't even say no. Just a drink, just one. Okay, one. Mm -hmm. Only I insist. Alright, let's do it. So, it's really nice. You are still here. Rachel, I don't have anywhere to go. My heart belongs here. Besides, you said there's a million times before you get it, Fiona. Richmond, my heart burns for you. I, I don't know if I can survive without you. Look, look, look. I hear this from a lot of times every day. But the worst part is we are more sophisticated and higher in status than you are. Do you expect me to drop the dirty governor's daughter to admire you? Admire Fiona? Oh, come on. She's just a deputy governor's daughter. Not the deputy governor. Are you serious? She's a married girl. Look, let me educate you, okay? Governments are run from homes, not offices. That is why we have the White House, not the White Office. We have the, the Governor's Lord, not the Governor's Office. We have first families, not first officials.
until I see you manage to smuggle yourself inside. You know, apart from the dad's name, no other name is bigger than yours. So you're now a sleeper who specializes in name dropping? Oh, uh, no, really. Just that I desperately needed to see. You finally succeeded in walking your way into trouble. No, getting myself into love, baby. Danny, on the patio, now. Ah, oh, come on, baby. He hasn't got to this place. No problem, miss. You're staring at him. Young man, quietly come with me. Um, just a bit of misunderstanding. Oh, Pedro still is surely capturing momentum, Karen. <laughs> Sasha, relax. My dad's organization campaign is not asleep. Hmm? I know. We need to keep staying ahead. The comrade's daughter is seen on campus several times. And from what I've heard, she's building a strong alliance with top national students, activists across campuses. Hmm. So that girl appears to have some brains after all. Hmm? And I know that you're holding a meeting tomorrow on our campus. I suggest you hijack that meeting. You are here stepping foot under your campus, Sasha. Please, everybody there likes behavior. They've never seen VIP before. Yeah, rub it in. I know I don't school and have a university like you do. Bush square on a bush square. Whatever. My friend, go and get us some juice. Donat, this is Dwayne, my best friend in secondary school. <laughs> you won't believe it. Her father hits real cash and sent her to the States. She's actually in Harvard now. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't even believe who her father is. Huh? Just try, yes. <laughs> okay, the governorship candidates of the opposition party. Honorable Felix, they call him Comrade, right? Hmm. Alicia, you're so amazing. And you have not changed when you look at you. <laughs> Anyway, down to business. I told you about the shadow campaign team that we're forming mainly for you. So what will it for you to talk to your students you executives about the things that are coming in and Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hmm? A mini political rally. I see comrades' total votes have been counted. I wouldn't be surprised if on election day. Come back chickens out and vote for the evening party. Excuse me? Who? Oh, shut the toilet. You would have been so dumb enough to dump toxic waste down your breath. Oh, don't be talking about that! You should have allowed her. Please, please, please. You should have allowed her. No, 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 no. Who does she think she is? Proudly, Karen Ogunendia Pedro. Deputy Governor's daughter. Just 
know he understands. You know, since those filthy hands of yours would have touched his face, you would have spent the rest of your miserable life searching it. I am not an entity like you. I'm quite an entity! No one, spell your father's name. Just spell it. Let's see if it's one of those big political establishments that holds this state together. Spell. I even have the time. You will not. Does any other maggot have any other thing to say? Hmm? I thought not. Dwayne, tell your father he's standing in front of a moving train. Really? To do. After all, she's also the daughter of a governorship candidate. Yes, of a feather. You know what, Fiona? I blame you partly for this embarrassment. You are too forward. You're always too forward. Listen, when Sue Gladiator's clash, what you do is step aside and watch. I do remember. This girl clearly came for me. Even though you might have followed my lead, I just stepped aside and watched him. And I love the girl carry a cross. After all, it's not your father that has become governor. No, she started talking. I mean, come, come, what, what, what did you want to do? You wanted to slap the deputy governor's daughter. <laughs> don't try that unless it's next time. Don't try it. I don't blame them, Alicia. If my father had agreed to join politics since I've been nudging him on, I'm sure he would have occupied the deputy governor's seat or even still the governor itself. But that's okay. Yeah, that's true. Would that be? Would that be? I'm going to go inside. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the blatant arrogance. Look at them. That's how they use the taxpayers' money to intimidate ordinary citizens. Ajele, swear that you don't envy all those powerful men and women in those cars. Envy. I don't envy them because there is nothing to envy in arrogance. It's the time, Ajele. Richmond. 
I only have one condition. Yeah, I speak. You have to sleep with me first. You know that's not possible. She's your best friend. I know you don't like me, rich man. I don't mind. I can help the chance to feel the strength to feel well built muscle. She's too handsome. Kyle was out of her mind. No, snap. No, stop, stop, stop. I want to feel right under your weight. I would imagine you touching all the things to my body. This is madness. It's complete madness. Just once, not get you crying. Oh, okay. You just want. The dick of his daughter. I'm setting up the channels. Sasha, you're bad. I know, babe. Come on. Babe, you need to feel this guy. He is fire. Oh my god. Forget it, please. You've got to go now, because he mustn't know you're here. Have your feel, okay? About your strategy against your father. You see that girl? She's been gathering a lot of momentum through the internet. And I think you should tell your father's campaign so that they can counter her very fast. Why are you telling me this? I want to help. See, I love to win. I love to build the winning side. And your father is the man. You see, do you know, father, Prince father is just a joker. He doesn't know what he's doing. But your father's team is where the action is, and that is where I want to be. Why do you think my father wants a fly like you in his campaign? Huh? Doesn't your damn school get it? Even if the deputy governor decides not to campaign for this election, his victory is already guaranteed. He is the anointed one, the chosen desire. Okay? For his one, so don't even know the part we are sorting out. Now get lost if you corrupt my sight. No nothing. Tell Conrad to keep his ears to the ground, okay? Because by next week, all the so-called candidates will be trembling from my father. We could see him have gone to for over two weeks. Yeah, no, I'm so worried. She's very on my Fiona not to tell me where she's going. She hasn't even called me. Nothing. Alicia, Fiona can sometimes be very mischievous, but this sudden disappearance. I just 
pray she is not in harm's way. Oh, no, sir, God forbid, God forbid, it's not possible. Um, sir, maybe she's with her mother. Fiona, would she have traveled to Canada without letting anybody know? Mm. Sir, I, I really don't know what else to say. I... Fiona, Fiona. Alicia, please help me find her. Alright, sir, um, I'll try. Okay, I'll see you. Girl, like me, Alicia, I'm not abandoning you for that one. Uh uh, no. Hey, why are you talking like this now? You know it's not possible. Okay, that's reassuring because I seriously need him, my team. Everybody saw the huge impact he made a few days where it was. Mm. <laughs> um, Dwayne, sorry, I'm saying I'll be very frank with you. stress I'm going through is something my dad should have planned for himself some years ago. Stress. You know, what are you scheming? It's nothing. Don't worry. Nothing. Fiona, this is your final year, remember? I hope you're not doing anything stupid that would ruin your chances of graduating with the rest of us. That's gonna be a big joke. Because I am going to graduate unfailingly. All that I need from you girls are your notebooks so that I can make photocopies. I'm going to pass my ears on. See you later. Hi, girls. Yona. You've been excited all day, Charlie. Where's the Coco? My life is about to take a flight from Dutch. My dad is about to become the next governor of the state. <laughs> are you serious? On which central bank now? <laughs> Please, please, please. What central bank are we talking about here? My dad is about to become the governor of the state. Please tell me you're joking, I beg you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, this dream is serious. What title will he give you now? What title will I... Fiona. We both know that politicians are the people that become governors. And we all know that your father likes to live to become one. So, how? My dad is a man of integrity. He's been penciled down by the ruling parties by his professional merits. The election is a foregone conclusion. And so, so, and you don't need your bank. Do you have any anti malaria drugs? Please, 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 and she sounds so confident. Oh, I'm gonna bust that malaria confidence. Why are you, Fiona? 
better watch this in order what the things you say for it before someone like Karen go and hear. What she will do is skin you alive. Ah, what is the worry you now? What is the worry this for now? What is wrong with you? Why do you keep saying rubbish from your mouth? Fiona, watch your level, no. Watch your level. Oh. You know what? I think you girls have a problem. Dreams. <laughs> hey, Fiona. I'm so serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Karen, see, the vendor stand is so jam packed today. <laughs> A little sensationalism. Hmm? You know what these hungry newspaper stands are like? One stupid story to discredit the government. They're stuck in trade. Jealous fools. They don't want to see the progress of those in government shipping. <laughs> but I'm interested. If you want to, but I'm not interested. Ah. Just a minute. This country, I don't know what they are turning these things into. My guy, eh? if you don't want to buy it, go, go. Why are they doing that country? association? Go, go, go like this, go like this. This, if I tell you what happened in 1921, you will share tears, my guy. The same thing is still happening. Huh? We will make it. We need new faces. I want to think. Go like this. Go like this. I beg. Make it like a common day now. Come and see. Your dad has a new competitor. <laughs> what wouldn't one see in this country? Hmm? So in Drake layers, we should be contested for governorship. Who is he? Search me. I don't know. Ah, and the paper is even suggesting that the what? The party's caucus members are backing him. <laughs> and that is the biggest lie of the century. Okay? It's a lie. Do you know why? My father has the support of His Excellency the Governor. Okay? The party chairman, the president, and the national executive members of the party. Even 80% of the state executive members are supporting him. So who is these caucus members that are backing this law for? Who? Who are they? I don't know where this is coming from, Dr. Vincent. You know, I have absolutely nothing to do with politics. Ignore the report. Yes, it's not true. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, hello. Judy, did you listen to me? These are terrible rumors. Don't take them seriously. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, hello. Listen to me. I am so much down for it, eh? This is an embarrassment. There is no such boat sir. A few hours ago, I've been bombarded with 65 pound call by inquiring about my supposed declaration. Where is this force coming from? Where is it coming from? <sighs> Dad, you sound like it's a terrible thing to show interest in the governorship race. Fiona! Let's have a man, Chacha. You leave me with a suspicion you only played the right side of things. <laughs> Which meant? You really undervalue your intelligence. You don't expect your help. I'm not! Who's playing with your intelligence? Do you want to tell me you're not aware of the serious tension at Karen Snyder's campaign? Karen Snyder is completely focused on her father's campaign now. But at least you should give me some feedback. I've already spoken with her. Give her another week. At least by then, things would have calmed down a bit. See, there's, there's a secret, you know? Karen actually likes you. She's just, encouraging. She's just bluffing. Alright then, I'll see you. Uh, Richmond, I'm not really disrupted by the political tension and I was thinking if we could um, spend some time at my end. Or yours. No, I my whole attention is focused on Karen for now. See you around.
Alicia, please think that Yuna said I could leave the rest turn out to be true. So I don't know if you believe this rubbish. Right? Me, I can bet you that Fiona is behind all of this. Is that his mother? Is that it? Alicia. Why are you talking as if you don't know Fiona? Listen, I know that they know that she thinks she knows herself. She's too ambitious, always desperate, trying to get what I'm hanging her head in the, in the cloud. Hmm? And for all I know, I'm very sure that Fiona paid some journalists to write it so that she can make the deputy governor and don't feel that her father also has a clout in the governorship election. I know this one. I know the rubbish. Hmm. I don't even know what to believe again. Okay, okay, okay. Can you remember how personal she took the humiliation the deputy governor's daughter gave her the other day? Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Lady Fiona, mm -hmm. let me do this. Oh, Gosh. congrats. This is big. I tell you, this is big. No, no, no. Our breakthrough has finally come. International connections. Contract. <laughs> Changing social status. <laughs> oh, okay. Then go do engineer is still single. Alicia. You know what, girls? The celebration is going to be very, very big. All I need from you girls are your prayers oh. to help my dad water through the turbulence. Once he scales through the party primaries, the coast is absolutely clear. He will scale through! That is going to hinder him! What? With all those no big names that you call supporting him, and he's firmly behind him, there is nothing that will stop him, eh? You know what, girls? Uh, I got to submit my assignment. You know how strict Dr. Lujan is? I got to. No problem. No problem. I did. you. I hope Karen is ready to see me. Someone must have really pissed you off to put you in this mood. Okay, you, let's, let's go to the restaurant and get some, some light here. Oh, got the message. One last night. You have to speak with him, Karen. At least for my sake, please. I'm not in the mood for such frivolity, Sasha. But that's the only way we can encourage him, so I can catch us with him. I don't like this. I don't even like the guy. He's such a desperate opportunist. You know that's not a quality I'm looking at in him, Karen. Please. Okay. Uh, thanks. Remember to put on a broad smile and <laughs> make your best act. Sasha! <laughs> Okay. Hi, hi. I hope I'm not going to be considered a nuisance here today. Of course not. Look, I apologize for being such a nuisance, okay? There is been a lot of political pressure. You know, I'm sure you can understand. Yeah, I, I do understand, you know. It's quite a relief to see you exude with so much passion. I love you, Karen. Wait, 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 wait. I've been giving you proposals to the talk, okay? But you need to understand that my father's greatest challenge is very important to me right now. Okay? Once the election is over, then maybe I can think about giving a relationship a chance. You have to be patient. Okay? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Just be patient, okay? Fiona, how 
Hi, where have you been? We are trying to reach you. What for? So you can allow me to save another backlash in the hands of one of your numerous enemies? Ah, oh, Fiona. Okay, I truly apologize for that incident. It actually is a part of the reason I'm trying to get in touch. It was the part. You're still upset, Fiona. Dwayne, get on with it. I don't have the time for you. Oh. Um, about my father's campaign, I'm sure he's never responding. I'm hoping you can help me speak to her. I also want to invite him. What do you think? Are you done for something? Don't you listen to radio or watch news on TV? There can only be one governor at a time. And that is my father, Engineer McMahon. It's going to be that man. Engineer Mackford is your father. No, I'm his father. Oh. Fiona! What's happening? Hi, Richmond. Hi, Fiona. You claim to be engaged to the deputy governor's daughter, but I always see you here on this campus, messing around with other girls. Oh, come on, Fiona. You know I don't work with campus girls. If I did, you would have been the first on the list, and you know it. My mission here is formal and personal. I guess it's not my business to pry. Oh, uh, smart girl. So, how's your fiance? Oh, she's all right. She's all right. So, my status is going to rise higher than Karen. You must have heard my dad has also entered the governorship race. Yeah, I heard. You know, but I'm shocked you could be so desperate over me to condescend so low to pull up that stupid stunt. What stunt? Unless you told me how you paid a bunch of hungry journalists to have that business you know published. Unless you told you that? Yeah, girls. See, let me tell you. Status are not merely raised on the pages of newspaper, okay? See you around. Right there. Uh, what rubbish are you going around telling people about me? Me? Really? Uh, about what? Alicia, don't pretend. I just met Richmond. And he told me the stupid rumor you're going around telling people about my dad's governorship ambition. Hey! Hey! See me say trouble, you. Let me see me say trouble, you. Me? Me? I, I, I said. To... No, 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 no. This has, you must be joking. This has to be a joke. Alicia. I thought I knew you too well. I mean, just think of it. Where on earth would I have gotten such an amount of money to give to the entire press just to publish such a news? Where? No, no, no. This, this has to be a joke. Me? Really? So you still believe all those this less things that stupid boy has to tell you? Over what I'm telling you, you believe him? At least show you are a backstabber. Hey, Fiona! Fiona, don't call me names. Don't even try to call me names. Ah, since you saw this declaration uh, 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 was being public, Wayne, this is my two eyes to see which one. Where, where, how? Oh, that was the concert. Did he tell you that? Me, both of us, we sat down and we talked about you. No, which one? How? Which one is always seen on campus? It doesn't matter. The problem with you is that you're too blindly in love with this guy to see that he just enjoys taking sidekicks at you. And if you ask me, I think you're just trying to let you know how he thinks about your father's declaration. I don't even know. I just wish I could just change my heart from running after him. He's so obsessed with Harry. Yeah, because Harry's father is going to be the next governor. I believe this is the house of Engineer Macfoot. Your yes, Excellency. I have very little time to spare, Engineer. I have encountered your time so many times in the advancement of my political career. And I know your entrance into the governorship race is only a gimmick for a player. So, name your price. Believe me, Your Excellency. I know absolutely nothing about this media hype that is going on around my career. Uh, it, it, it's totally strange to me. I know the point is working, engineer. Well, 
have all told this line of deception at one point or the other in our political careers. So, like I said, I have no doubt. No surprise. I am not a politician, my son. So, who is flying the kite? I wish I could answer that question, my son. I have been bombarded across towns and overseas concerning the same issue. I am totally dumbfounded. Well, I believe we can sort this out quickly. That is a check of twenty million votes. Only votes for the reduction of that force to fight the national Yes, I see. I'm not ready to take your money. I have organized a press conference tomorrow to take your money. We all need money. Just to be one. Personally followed your private life, Mr. Macford. And as you are aware, the present administration is fast running to an end. And the primary to elect my party's governorship flag bearer will be held in June. I am aware of the political going on in all the political parties. Mr. Chairman, I have assured the deputy governor to ignore all the rumors going on about my purported interest in contesting on your political platform. I am addressing a press conference to debunk the falsehood. That is why I'm here. You will hold your press conference, but you will not debunk your candidature. Excuse me? Look, your interest in the governorship is not rumor. It is all well orchestrated. We, the real caucus members of my party, I mean the key makers, have decided to drop all the contending forces and draft you in as my party's governorship candidates. This is a big joke, Mr. Chairman. We know all the heavyweights contested to fly the governorship flag on your political platform including the deputy governor whom I'll give you my word. You owe the deputy governor nothing. The heavy weights you have just mentioned are all wild hawks. Too wise and difficult to control for my liking. Look, I mean, we need a green hand in politics. Someone who will be loyal and directly answerable to us. The way I talk I mean. You fit in the bill perfectly, Engineer Nick Malford. I am overwhelmed by such confidence, sir. But I thought such positions are reserved for party loyalists. I am not even a cavalry member of your political party. Look, forget about your membership. You were registered 18 months ago. And that qualifies you for a shot at the governorship. Oh. What? I never cease to marvel at you politicians, sir. You are one now. Believe me, it doesn't take much to mend the ropes. I trust that you will present my talk as well. This is too fast or sudden. I will really need to sleep on it. We have no time. We have a press conference to address. I and other party big meets will be there to raise your occasion. Forget about the campaign and other networks. We will take care of it. Mr. Chairman, I really need to think about it. Well, 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 Dinyang. 
man front to be a governor of this important state of ours does not come that easy. But I agree to that, sir. No bad, no bad. I just couldn't help myself. God, I'm so excited when I'm finally going out this day. Hey, hey, listen to me. I'm not even accepted it. This there's bound to be turbulence. These heavy weights will not be just lying low. I am aware of the anxiety that has gone out to the public since the news of my intention to also run for the seat of the governorship. Many have wondered if it's true or a mere rumor. This press briefing is to clear the air once and for all. I, Engineer Nick McFord, formally announced my intention to contest the seat of the governor of our great state under the umbrella of our great ruling party. I also want to use this opportunity to thank all the important and influential party members who have already endorsed my candidature. I also want to specially thank all other party faithful whom I hope sincerely make this dream ticket a reality at the party premise in June. And most importantly, the governorship election proper. Thank you. And God bless our great party and great Batiza state. <laughs> Mentality towards changing our lives for good. You want to know the truth? I feel like this is not happening. It's too much of a big dream that shouldn't be. Dad, you're gonna feel extremely better when the main election is over. Gosh, I can already smell victory in the air. You are so positive. I wish I could make it that easy for myself. No, Dad. It is time to start to work in conservating our strategic advantage. You surprised me, Fiona. Yeah. I'm just happy for us, Dad. I'm just happy for us. Cheers. Wild work with your guy. Just hang it there. Traitor. What? You said it didn't want him? Get out of here now. I don't understand you. We both expected this thing to be again. Again? Sasha, again. That you and your father collided with those scoundrels to betray my father. My dad doesn't even know Richmond. I'll stop this Richmond crap. You want to pretend you didn't see the news last night? What news conference? I spent the whole night with Richmond. Get out. Out before I call security. Get out. Carmen! Get out! Okay, I'm still in the Why is he going to get the money to run his company? 
I said that talk about important personalities somewhere backing me up. I tell you now, nah, nah. I'm not going to be so sure. I know, I know I'm, a, I'm not a politician. Alicia, you are a politician. Well, tell me, we will abandon a candidate like the deputy governor and team up with a peanut campaign like the one he's about to run. Or what do you think I abandoned doing on her father? Yet you claim you're not a politician. However, that's not the reason I did talk now. But you don't need to be vexed, Mazin. What keeps hurting me is I know no why some people not just sit down for where God put them. Just respect themselves. Alicia! Sometimes I wonder, they want to talk about Fiona. Are you a friend or a foe? Both. At least we both know that. I like Fiona and this Fiona is my friend. But waiting really vex me for that girl matter that now the girl has gone. Hostel, I'm gone. She wants to be gone. I thought I wanted to be gone. Okay, now we can see. What are you doing here? Huh? I told that idiot you're going to allow you to set your foot in the way again. Come on, please. Just hear me out. So you can betray me? Like a father did to my dad? I detest what my dad did, okay? The serious crisis right now in my house. My man and I are not in support of him. The damage has already been done. So what's the point? Hmm? What? Our two families can never be close. No! Get out! Get in! Come in! Chills down the spine of some self styled heavyweight. Tell that pretender of a politician to stay clear. There is no vacancy at the government lodge. You are such an empty vessel, Harry. Just because your father is what? <laughs> you can envy me all you like. It doesn't cost anything. But tell your father he's a big dreamer if he thinks he can become the next governor of this state. As deputy governor of this state, it is my father's exclusive right to take over from the current government. If your father is so sure of himself, let him go push his luck at the state party primaries. <laughs> tell your father to stay clear, okay? If he's so hungry for power, tell him to go and contest for the local government council in his village. That is where you belong, in the crowd. Such a sneaky and just a greedy hypocrite. But to collect my 20 million bucks and still insist on challenging me in Jimmy Mufford? 
Mm. You've just stuck your hand in the tiger's mouth. I'm sorry I can't explain anything to you. I have made my decision and that is it. Either ways, I wouldn't have touched your money. You've just thrown yourself on the path of a moving train. And I promise you, I will crush you. message and I'm here to pass one across. I can see you're really advancing in your threats. I don't take lightly to try to enforce like you try to push me. <laughs> you poured your filthy ass into this car to threaten me. You know what? You can show your piece of threat down to your fellows. You don't scare me. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of enemies. You seem to have so many. Yeah? Make no mistakes. I will be able to myself in the truth you of the team. I can see now you are scared to run up to your own hat. Glad my message didn't sink. Don't fucking try to me. <laughs> now, the truth. Hmm? Make no mistakes. I have not started with you yet. Okay? Now, when I start, you would wish you never had a fun. Let's not talk about one attempting to become them. Now get out before I throw you out of this car. Take your trash, which I need to go. Gosh, the political atmosphere in this country is getting dangerous by the day. I mean, with all the assassinations going on, Fiona, aren't you afraid for your father's safety? Yeah, hello. Hello, Mr. Chana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I can continue with this. The deputy governor just left my house threatening me. Oh, you're sending security. Okay, okay, yeah. That sounds comforting. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.
this nonsense. I got your message and I'm here to pass one across. I can see you're really advancing on your threat. I don't take it lightly to try to enforce like you tries to push me. You prayed your filthy ass into this car to threaten me. You know what? You can shove your piece of threat down to your parents. Don't scare me. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of enemies. You seem to have so many. Yeah? Make no mistakes. I will be made to myself and treating you with I can see now you must get one or two on that. I'm glad my message didn't sink. Don't fucking frighten me. <laughs> now, the trip. Hmm? Make no mistakes. I have not started with you yet. Okay? Now, when I start, you would wish you never had a fun. Let's not talk about one attempted to come from you. Now, get out before I throw you out of this car. Take the trash. Jump into the car. Gosh, the political atmosphere in this country is getting dangerous by the day. I mean, with all the assassinations going on, you know, aren't you afraid for your father's safety? Actually, you won't believe it. Over the last four weeks, my dad has received more than 20 death threats, not to talk of the ones that I have received. Are you serious? Wow, it really bothers me. I mean, why don't you advise the man to step down? And stop mining these do about politicians. Believe me, they will dump in when the chips are down. You can't trust those hawks. Stepping down is out of the question. Politics is for my need of stainless stuff. And my dad is why. Someone has just been kidnapped. Where? 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 Why? Why are you following me? Hey, 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 hey. You were standing there and the kidnapped. Yes, no. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm serious. Yes. I'm not just came with the bus and then. Yes. Listen. You think I don't know what you have and I want to do? Eh? You think I don't know the game you're playing? You're trying to create a publicity stunt to aid her father's campaign. I'm sorry. Count me. Alicia, I am shocked at you. Why don't you go over there? Why you get out? Adele. What are you doing here? Stop ranting. You really have to see this. I am not interested. Yeah, it's very really important. You have to. Come on. I won't allow that bitch and her father come in between our friendship. I know my dad made a mistake, and I'm making all the sacrifice to correct it, Karen. Oh, well, Sasha, I appreciate this. I do. Do we have here? Hmm? A wall gecko. Then I was thinking it was that spineless change drain I was toying with. Not knowing I had a spider. A spider who father has been weaving cobwebs all over the place. Kyrie, go on and do your worst. Your father has lost out. Let's see what happens. You just try me. You think you have guts? Hmm? You have guts. Listen, you are not me. You can never be me, no matter how hard you try. Let's see your father get this message. How hidden is this place? <laughs> no one can ever find it here, trust me. If they do, it'll be her corpse. Trash. 
What? You know, bless me, I don't see my way out. Lucky me, here you are. Now the best thing you can do for yourself right now is to evaporate into thin air before I ram my anger into you. Take it easy, I only came to see your pretty face. Yours is not that handsome. Someone upset you to put you in this mood. Get lost, Richmond. Come on, baby. Go on, go You skip lunch. I'm not an appetite, Dad. I've been chasing something more important. I have engineered my first daughter. What do you mean by you have his daughter? Kidnapped, Dad. Let me confess her father to withdraw from the race. Are you out of your mind? How can you contemplate on pulling such a stunt? Do you realize the implication of this guest to the public? Dad, we have to fight the battle on all fronts. Since this pickers member has decided to betray you, we need to fight back dirty. Karen, this is not a battle for kids. I'm still on top of the situation. Now, go and release that girl and get back to the house. I wouldn't, Dad. She's the only bad me to you have right now. But I intend to make sure you use her. Yes, yes, Commissioner. Have you found her? Oh my God! No, do all you can to find her. She is my only daughter, Commissioner. Yes, please. Yeah, hello. Hello, yes, yes, yes. Listen to me, listen to me. Can you pull me through to the Commissioner of Police? Tell him I am Engineer Mark Ford. No, 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 no. I can't wait. No, 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 I can't wait. I can't wait at all. I, I, I can't. I, I, yes, I can't wait. Yes? Gentlemen, yes, listen. My daughter was kidnapped on campus this morning. No, it's not anything that I'm begging for. Yes, I need to calm down. But listen to me. She is my only daughter. My only daughter. She's in danger. Okay, 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 Chairman. I understand. But listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to get the army involved in the search. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Chairman. Yes, please, 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 please do whatever you can. Please. Please, please do. I understand. I, I, I do. Please. But do whatever you can. <sighs> How much did they want? What about the other media organizations? Okay, give it to them. But make sure that the kidnap stone does not get out. I say make sure that the kidnap stone does not get out, Mike. That's why you're my special assistant on media issues. Okay, get on with it. You see, your stupid stubbornness has cost me about three million bucks now. Eh? Karen, where are you holding that girl? As soon as the engineer goes on air and withdraws his candidature, his daughter will be released. Yes, Your Excellency. The petty general just called me asking the same questions. I have absolutely no idea about the kidnap. That's a direct accusation, Your Excellency, and I detest that. I am an honorable man, unlike some people I know. You see the pressure and 
and insult you and put it in the room. The engineer will kill us. Put your foot down, Brad. Huh? I've done half the work for you. Take it up from here. You left your studies at Harvard to come and help me. But not this way, Karen. Not this way. The party ticket is still up for grabs. But if the kidnap case is linked to you, we will lose everything. And I mean everything. Let me handle this man. My dad wants her freed. Damn! He's making a big mistake. No doubt. Make sure freedom doesn't come sit on the face of Karen and that's her stupid attachment friend called Sasha. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God you're alive. Thank God you're alive. Oh. Sorry. Why is her dearly? Thank God knows if she really wanted to come. Talk of the devil! You are the devil. You asked me to wait for you to get something at the supermarket and you're already seated now. Eh-heh, uh eh-heh, -huh, uh -huh. so, 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 so what did I do? Eh? Uh -huh. Just shut up, bloody liar. Shut up too! What's all that? Why did, you, why did you not put him to the supermarket? Face your face as if you're going for a beauty pageant. Fiona, how are you feeling now? Actually, getting better. Oh my God. I'm surprised that Karen and her friends have not been picked up by the police. Even the media is blank on the story. Adisi, you never know with politics. That's not how things are done. Eh? Fiona, sorry. Sorry. Don't worry. We'll do something about it. Hmm? Don't worry. It's okay. I am confused. So what happened to you? It's all because of this. Sadly, why the game called politics has never appealed to me. Dad, I'm all right. I'm okay. We can't let the enemies distract us. We can keep all those big men waiting for us. No. Just look at you. I won't allow you to stress yourself so soon. What you need is to rest. Dad, I'm going with you. <laughs> Listen, Dad. Fiona, stay out of this. You have done enough of it. This is absolutely unacceptable, Mr. Chairman. We had a memorandum of understanding before I accepted to abandon my governorship ambition. And no one that you have been with That mutual understanding cannot all of a sudden be jettisoned now. A lot of equations have changed since then, Mr. Deputy Governor. 
other overbearing factors and interests are not at play. Honestly, that supersedes my personal consideration. The governor is absolutely right. You see, other members of the caucus now prefer that uh, Engineer McFord here takes over from the governor. This is not fair. I have labored in this party. That's fair, Dave. You do well to accept so that you don't entirely lose out in the new configuration. True. <laughs> Your Excellency, there is absolutely nothing to be excited about. I mean, we all still maintain that you retain your office as a deputy governor. Richmond. I do know I was on my mind. Um, yeah, I heard about your kidnap experience and decided to come check you. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Thanks. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? Uh, for now, I mean, I'm okay. Just your presence alone is okay. What is this rumor here about the deputy government stepping down for your dad? Oh, Richmond. Well, I can see you're well attuned to rumors. Yeah. Don't forget I paid the entire journalist to publish about my dad's governorship intention. And you can also guess right that I paid the deputy governor to step down for my dad. Oh, come on, come on, baby. I mean, rumors are rumors, okay? Just, just let it go. So now you can offer me that which you want. I'll get you something to drink. I said, I don't want to hear any more about Richmond. Do you have a chance to meet Gavin? You're making a big mistake. No, I am not. You like him, so what? Keep him. I wish I could. But it's in your own interest. You can't afford to allow Fiona to take everything that I think belongs to you. For goodness sake, he's not my man. He has never been. Ah. I know, but the whole world won't see it that way. Trust me, Karen. She can't stand the mockery that you were dumped by a guy for a girl who everybody knows you hide her in terms of class. Wait, you mean people think I'm dating him? She made certain of that. All that the world is waiting for is the wedding bells. Get him! I'll kill that guy. I have a better idea. Use him. Make sure Fiona sweats. Make sure she can never have the man she loves. But at least hold him down for me. You're right. Can you show me to school? Now that you're strong enough, we need to quickly form our own youth wing campaign team. Quite fun. You see, I heard that Dwayne has been creating a lot of angels for her father. Alicia, that is not necessary at the moment. My dad is contesting now the biggest superstar structure campaign of the ruling party. We need to make you look as if we contributed to your father's victory. Alicia, yes, now we feel like this is our time. And I'm not ready to lose all those juicy contracts that will come out from my father's administration. No, 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 I am not ready. Alicia, you're not going to make us on anything, I can assure you. And I feel like I believe you, but I want to be totally sure. You know how I labeled for all those positions in the past, and in the end, look at me now. What do I have to show for it? Nothing. But now that I have the opportunity, I am not going to take the back seat. I want your father to believe that I support his cause, and I'm supporting him to the fullest. 
I will show you a big time politician. Ah, yes, so I agree. I am a politician. I will. Okay. I will kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I will, okay? Certain, I mean, we have made absolute certain of that. You? Yes, sir. See, sir, I have made arrangements for a youth arm of your campaign team, and this time we're talking Obama strategy. Interesting. Oh, yes, sir, but, sir, I really shouldn't be saying this, but I wish there was a first lady on standby ready to match in with you to the governor's lodge. You need my divorce status with your friend's mother. We can't have it all, or can we? Yes, we can, sir. <laughs> See, um, just make sure she's very young and vibrant. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Oh, sorry. Um, is she all right? Yeah, she's in her room. All right, so I'll just go in. I exhausted. You have to work yourself. Why don't you shut down the system and go and sleep? No, sir. It's 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 nothing, sir. And no idea is said to be in vain until victory oh. is certain. She's right, Dad. Our support base has increased times five over the past six hours. Ah, that's very impressive. Ah, oh, that's to be expected, sir. So I tell you, with the fresh ideas Fiona and I have brought into repackaging your campaign strategy, you now have the most elaborate and well-articulated manifesto I tell you no other party can beat. I agree to that. It's far more refreshing from a rhetorical business manifesto. These regular politicians shove down the truths of the electorate. I cannot run my administration on an empty promise before I become the governor. Ah, sir, please, you will become the governor. Yes. I don't know. Ah, what's this now? Why do you sleep? Can't you see that busy? We don't go to sleep. You will go inside. Ah, what's wrong with you that busy walking there and you're, and you're sleeping? What's wrong with that? This is it. Go and sleep now. Go and sleep now. Right there. Hold that your lying, pretentious tongue there. What do you think you're doing? Eh? What's that? Hacking into my boss' campaign website and uploading dirty, rubbish, falsehood against him. Uh, me? No, me. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is this a joke or what? I don't understand what they're not doing. Don't deny it. It could only be you. You're the only answer that will know the broken mechanism of our website. Wait, so. And. May I remind you that I designed that me mechanism you're talking about? Exactly! Now you're stealing it and destroying everything to help me in your smartphone! I'm stealing my ideas. Is it possible? 
me for me to steal my own ideas. Hmm? No, listen to me. I have the right to take my ideas and skills wherever I feel I'm being appreciated best. And if you don't like it, you can go and stand on the road and let me can look you dead. <laughs> Alicia! Thank you. 